good day everyone good day good day good day how is everyone doing on this wednesday here in front of you as you can see i have all the setups for making lip gloss so without further ado before we get into this video make sure you like share comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time i do anything on my channel in front of us here today we have a marvelous setup <laughs> okay we are going to be making lip gloss okay i have an order of nine to do in this video we're going to be making the lip gloss I'm going to be showing you step by step what I do, what I'm using, and you know how I'm using them, okay? We are going to be filling the lip gloss tubes and labeling them. Well, I'm going to label them off camera because that's time consuming in itself, and I don't want this video to be long. As you hear me say just a while ago, Yes, I am doing an order for a customer, and she ordered nine lip glosses. I am so excited. I am delighted. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for placing your order with me. But I've ordered you. Let's get into the video. So guys, yes, welcome back. I am going to be naming what we have here, this way on the table. As you can first and foremost see, I have my paper towel laid out on my area, my work area, so that I do not make a mess on my table. Because lip gloss is not that hard to get out with a little warm water, but it's hard to get out, if you know what I mean. Anyway, as you can see here, first we have the bowls that we are going to be making all the gloss in. We have the bowls, then we have our spoons that we're going to be using to store the lip gloss. Then we have our gloves that we're going to be wearing. Then we have our different flavoring oils right here, starting from left to right. We have bubble gum, we have mango candy, we have focus focus watermelon we have peach we have coconut last but not least we have cotton candy Oops, focus cotton candy so yes these are the different flavor oils and the different glasses that I'm going to be making for her and they are all clear glass. You don't want the color, you just want different scent in each clear glass. Okay. Then behind we have polyisobutene. We have our coconut oil. So in there. Then we have our glass baits from TKB Trading. We have our pipette and we have our syringe. So this is going to be going on this to fill our lip gloss tubes. So we won't be needing this anytime soon, okay? Until we finish make the gloss. So this is going to go aside. Okay, I'm back. So let's clear off here not you i need you <laughs> let's put y'all back because i'm not going to be using y'all no time soon what am i talking about not going to be using it no time soon of course i'm going to be using them soon so let me put on my gloves okay i'm back with my gloves on so, first thing first, since I'm going to be making nine different glass, 
I'm going to make two at a time. So first we're going to start by putting our lip gloss base into the two bowls in front of us. Okay, now that I have my gloss in the both bowls, I'm going to be adding my coconut oil. So I just do two um three tablespoon of coconut oil in each bowl with the fudge gel in it. Now we're gonna be adding our polyisobutene. We're just gonna add two tablespoons of polyisobutene. Okay, so now that that's done, I added my two tablespoons of polyisoprene into the bowl, bowl of virtual. So now, we are going to mix, mixy mixy, take our spoon and mix. Okay, so now that it's almost to the consistency that I wanted, that is good because I'm going to add the flavoring oil to it. And when I add the flavoring oil, 
that is going to slack up the base some more. So I don't want to put any more oils in there. So now we're going to mix up the other bowl. And as I did the first one, you want to start off slow. Because like how the liquid is not mixed with the gel as yet. If you start off with a fast pace, baby, you're going to have mess all over the place. And we don't want to do that. We ain't trying to be messy marble over here. And as I did the first the first bowl, I'm going to speed up this part. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, we have our two bowls with Claire Virgil in it. Like I said, the customer doesn't want any color. She just wants Claire. So now I'm going to add the flavoring oil to each bowl. First, I'm going to start off with bubble gum and mango so here's the bubble gum Then I'm going to go in with mango. So now that we add, now that we've added uh, two flavoring oil to each bowl. Let's get to mixing. Yeah, that smells good. Yeah, I wish y'all could smell this. Oh my gosh. I wish y'all could smell this. See, I told you that the Watch it there, what's gonna get slucked up? Need a little bit more in here. So now, these two are done, okay? So now we're going to go in, we're going to get two more bowls to make the other two um, scents, and we're going to repeat the process, but this time I'm going to fast forward the process beyond now, after now. So. This part of the video was just me showing you guys how I'm doing it, what I do, or I mix it, or whatever. 
So now that you see that, I'm going to be doing the other four flavors, but in fast forward mode. So just watch. Okay, so we're back with the last two on the table. So I just come in to let y'all know I'm still here. Y'all listening to music while I do this, but I'm still here. This is the last two. I'm going to be doing cotton candy and peach. So let's get to it.
Nothing new, it's done. <laughs> Gotta get me a next one.
Okay, y'all. So I'm back. I'm finished mixing. I'm finished making the glasses. Okay. Um. So now that this part of the video is done, now the next part of the video, you will be seeing me filling the lip gloss tubes. Be y'all be.